In the previous video about the Arrhenius equation, we looked at the equation and saw how we could use it to explain the effect of temperature and activation energy on the rate constant K. In this video, I'm going to look at some calculations using the equation. So you can see on the left there, I've got the data sheet. Now this one's for the OCR exam because that's the one that we do at our college. But all data sheets will have the Arrhenius equation on and I've written both forms up. There it is on the actual data sheet and we've got two forms. We've got the one we looked at at the previous video and we've got the natural log form of the equation. Now it's this equation here that I'm going to use in this video and we're going to perform a couple of calculations where we calculate the activation energy Ea and this pre-exponential factor A. So here's the first calculation and in this one we're going to calculate the activation energy for a reaction at 410 degrees C. We are given the pre-exponential factor, you can see it's written up there, and the rate constant's given as well. And you can see that we need to give our answer to three significant figures. Just before we start, just a reminder from the previous video, the units of A and K are always the same. So you can see there they've got the same units. So if you want to have a go, pause the video and then play on and listen to me go through the answers. So we're using the natural log form of the equation. So you can see I've written that there. Remember that's on the data sheet. So I've subbed in the numbers that were given in the question. And just a reminder that the gas constant 8.314 is on the data sheet. And because we've got Kelvin temperature within these units, we must express the temperature as Kelvin as well. And so that 410 degrees C, when we add 273K onto that, we get that 683. So we get that. Taking the 26.32 over the other side gives us that, which comes out at minus 31.72. Taking that 5678.5 over the other side gives us that, which comes out at that number there. Now you can see we've got minus signs on both sides, so we can effectively cancel those out. Now the units we're in at the moment are joules per mole, and we would normally express activation energy in kilojoules per mole. So we need to bring this down by a factor of a thousand to get it into the right units. And then the last thing we need to do is get the three significant figures. So it's just that 180 there. So there's the final answer, 180 kilojoules per mole. So in the second calculation, we're going to calculate the pre-exponential factor A for this reaction at 700 Kelvin and we're given the rate constant K 1.2 times 10 to the minus 2 seconds to the minus 1 and it has an activation energy of 64.65 kilojoules per mole. So if you want to have a go pause the video and then we'll go through the answers. So just as before, we're using the natural log form of the Arrhenius equation, which is on the data sheet, so don't worry about having to remember that one. I've subbed in the values that were being given in the question, but just a little thing to remember, the activation energy has been given in its typical units of kilojoules per mole, but in the Arrhenius equation, because we've got joules within the R, the gas constant units, we've got to put this into joules per mole. So they've been nice, given us the temperature in Kelvin, but there's the little catch there with the units. So there's that activation energy in joules per mole. So that's given me those numbers there for the next line. Taking the minus 11.11 over the other side gives us this which gives me a lin A value for the pre-exponential factor of 6.69. So we need to turn this into A. So we need to do the inverse of lin, which is E to that number there. 
So that's given me a numerical value for the pre-exponential factor A at 804. I haven't put the unit in yet because I just want to make a point that the units of A are always the same as the units of K, the rate constant. And so the units for this A would be seconds to the minus one as well. We'll just finish with some things to remember that um, could easily be forgotten when doing these calculations. The first thing, the units of K, the rate constant, are always the same as the units of A, the pre-exponential factor. The units for the activation energy in the Arrhenius equation are always in joules per mole, and so you would typically have to convert to kilojoules per mole if you're being asked to calculate the activation energy. And your temperature needs to be in Kelvin. So if they give you a degree Celsius temperature in the question, you need to add 273 on to get it into Kelvin. And finally, if you're doing a calculation where you've got to calculate this pre-exponential factor A, you can see that using the natural log form of the equation, you're going to end up calculating lin of A. So if you get a lin A, value equals, let's just call it x, then a is equal to e to whatever that x number is there.